All right, I have some more gameplay to show you this week. Um, this week I'd like to demonstrate some, um, uh, some fields and their uh, effects on particles. I will, uh, I've started a mission already and you can, um, you can see if I turn the, the fields on here um, so that we can see them that I've got uh, fields that point downward on the map and I've got some other ones that point in different directions. These red ones are really, really strong. And there's, there's one in particular here that um, all point inwards to this particular unit. And there is a script attached to that unit that toggles those fields on and off at regular intervals. So that's what's going to create these explosions for us. So let's zoom back out and just get busy playing this mission. Um, I've already taken over a couple energy sources here. I've already built some upgrades. Uh, for those who've seen the last video, you'll notice that uh, the upgrade system is a little different in this build. Uh, there are local defense phalanxes that fly out and, and will defend the local area, and I've built a whole bunch of those here. There goes that explosion again. Uh, I've built energy upgrades and only one local defense uh, for this energy mine, and I've built up a fleet of uh, a small fleet of ships. So I'm going to move forward and engage and try to uh, make some uh, progress. Now, now one thing I'm going to try to do, I'm going to play this mission a little different than I than I have practiced it. You know why not? Um, let's move into this area and try to capture this um, this pickup that will allow me to build a wolf, which is a it's like a little missile carrier. Let's capture that guy. Now, uh, while we're working on that, um, I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the fields again, it's because you may not have seen them first time around. But um, I've I've made just some random fun-looking structures here, a little loop that carries particles around. Um, zoom zoom down here a little bit, a little little maze that pushes them pushes them along a couple areas that where they shoot upwards uh, a few different emitters on this mission uh, one that makes these snakes uh, one that makes these bar like structures uh, another one that's just making individual particles all right we've picked up our our wolf let's uh let's go build him now one one strategy on this map would be to uh, would be to attack here to eliminate this as a source and then try to pinch off and prevent a resupply of this fountain right here uh, which would in turn prevent this uh, this black hole or this star from forming that explodes at regular intervals um, that would be a good strategy and uh, I may pursue that I'm going I'm going to do but I may do that later I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take probably a more conservative path maybe the uh, a path of uh, just going around the edges and let's uh, let's see uh, what we can make happen if we do that now uh, I'm gonna pause the game and I'm gonna move some ships into position to defend this energy mine after it's uh, after it's taken because explosions are gonna happen I've just paused the game again explosions are gonna happen and there's no defenses up here so I need need some ships and I'm gonna put some ships in position to um, absorb any particles that that happen to get nearby we got lucky that time none did these ships managed to uh, defend them off so I, I'd like this energy mine to be able to take care of itself I don't want to have to leave my limited fleet parked at an energy source to protect it so I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna queue up a whole bunch of these uh, these phalanx drones let them get built then he can probably defend himself and while that's while that's going I will move some of my other ships forward because we're going to sneak across the top here and I'd like to get this other uh, ability this other pickup to, so I can build uh, yet another missile carrier a, um, the wolf I'll zoom back out just a bit so you can see the whole map in the uh, in the video fields push on particles um, okay I was just waiting for that explosion um, because now is when I'm going to uh, 
to move in because I've got a, a little window of opportunity here before the next eruption from that uh, from that star and I'm gonna move some of my uh, ships over in a defensive uh, positioning I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave a couple here just because I'm, I'm nervous about this and um, grab this pickup and queue up some local defenses since these guys are so close to danger areas I'm building mostly uh, defensive drones anyway I was saying that fields push on particles and uh, particles also have a maximum velocity and a number of other attributes. And these attributes are all tweakable. On this particular map, I have made the uh, maximum velocity of particles be double what it was in the previous video. In the previous video, the, the, the constant was 0.75. That would be 0.75 pixels or texels per game update. Uh, this, these particles are limited to 1.5, so they, they can move twice the speed of particles in, uh, in the previous video. Okay, I need to stop talking for a second and concentrate here. Um, I can build yet another wolf, and there's a cruiser I haven't uh, built as well. Oh, by the way, I'm accidentally demonstrating another thing you can do. You can drag these uh, uh, your fleet around and rearrange them in your um, in your build area if you like. Um, I sort of like heavier ships towards the bottom um, and lighter ships towards the top. Um, so you can drag them around however you'd like so uh, let's see if we can sneak down here and uh, let's see uh, yeah that's that's fine and, and we'll bring our missile launcher down here this guy there's an enemy ship down here and he he's going he looks a lot tougher than he is in this mission the reason so is because his tentacles are being pulled down by the by the most of the fields on this map um, so all these particles that he's producing you can see a chain being produced here they aren't being pulled towards our ship so uh, so we're in pretty good shape um, in fact I'm gonna pull a quick trick here watch this I'm just gonna since he is in range of the defensive phalanxes of this energy mine, if I can hold out long enough, and I'm going to do a little rotation maneuver here. If I can hold out long enough to get those phalanx drones built, they will take out this enemy ship for me. Um, what I did with my destroyer was uh, I rolled him around backwards um, so that another part of his hull could take damage from the enemy ship. And now I'm going to roll him back in the forward direction. He lost his engine on that, uh, which is why he was moving so slowly. But, uh, um, yeah, that engine being out is killing his rotation, so I'm going to lose him if I'm not careful. I might be able to back him away just out of range. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, here we go. The, the All the drones just built. This enemy ship's in range, so they're just going to, they're going to clobber this guy. No more enemy ship. So now let's uh, let's move forward and see if we can make progress at taking out some emitters. Uh, I've got another uh, energy, another uh, oh, another missile launcher here. The wolf. I'll bring these guys in range. It probably would be smarter if I would just sort of clip off this uh, the resupply. Of, uh, of this uh, exploding star but um, let's just go let's just go this way let's go south and then then across and that'll that'll clip it off one, one interesting question that came to mind when I was doing this is it was there are these snakes and they're kind of getting thrown up and they're getting pulled into this star or this black hole so I wondered are snakes destroyed if they enter a black hole? The answer seems to be no they are not, but they get really angry. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see if we can move in. I need some more defense. 
distance. I don't want to lose the lathe modules on both lathes, otherwise I won't be able to take out the emitter. And hold, 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 boys. Okay, all right, we got it. They took some serious damage. Let's back them up. Um, notice I'm doing a slide maneuver, um, so they just slide backwards. Um, and now we'll move it into more of a defensive position. Um, bring them back down. Let them finish building. get some guys up front so particles can't make it through until the energy mine is built okay and um, you know I don't think I need to build any any phalanxes here I probably am gonna end up building range and and move across um, see if we can do that this guy is a little, little tough to take out he produces these bars which means he spawns several particles all at once um, so let's see. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Oh, he is directly in the line of fire. Let's see if we can slide him south. Oh, not good. Lost a lathe. That means it's going to take a lot longer to take him out because I don't have two guys operating, and, and, and my ships just—they can't hold. They can't hold this position very long. The whole front end of this wolf has been taken off. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna hold position. I'm holding, I'm just gonna hold position. Okay, we did it. I'm not going to budge until that little clump is, uh, is taken care of. Now we can move forward. This wolf can rebuild the whole front end of the ship. We are in pretty good positioning now. I will, uh... Actually, you know, I should have built the range upgrades here, I think. So let's, let's do that. And back here, let's just get rid of those range upgrades. And instead, to build uh, energy amps, just to increase our uh, energy production. And I've managed to cut off the supply to this exploding star. I don't believe the ships are needed anymore to protect these uh, positions. I think all we need to do now is uh, move in for the final kill. Still need to manage our approach kind of carefully though, because there's still there's some mass here, and if we get too close too fast, they'll come after us. I like these uh, these cruisers. They have beams on them which will um, slow down particles. That's what those little beams are. They uh, they they kind of stun the motion of a particle for uh, for a couple seconds, and um, that can in turn create a barrier for other particles and slow up a mass of particles long enough for your weapons to uh, to take them out. They have their limitations, but uh, but they can be they can be useful. Okay, let's move in for the kill now. By the way, I, it goes without saying this is still an alpha build of the game. There are still a lot of game features that are in flux. This is only a small subsection of weapons and ships and this is also a very small mission and it was designed to test some concepts not really to be a wonderful mission to uh, to play or anything like that um, but uh, when I did it it looked interesting so I thought well hey you know, maybe the maybe the fan base would like to see a video of that because uh, it's been a while anyway thanks for watching <laughs>